The Bitcoin Mine presents How to Mine Using an AMD-Based GPU in Windows. Step 1. The Driver and the App SDK. You'll need to download the driver appropriate for your AMD GPU. If the driver is not installed, visit the site below this video that will take you to the AMD driver download page. If you have a card that is older than the HD 5000 series, you can select which you have from the list and it will show a list of compatible drivers for that card. If you need help determining which card you have, please do not hesitate to contact us. So after going to that download page, it will direct you here. And in this case, I'm using a desktop, so I will choose desktop graphics. AMD Radeon HD 6950, so I will select the Radeon HD series, and then I will select the Radeon HD 6000 series, and since I am using a 64-bit installation of Windows 7, I will choose Windows 7 64-bit, and then click on Display Results. After doing that, it will take you to this page, which has the details of the driver, and we'll hit Download here. And this will download approximately a 257 megabyte file. Then after downloading this file, we will open it. Then you will see something that will look like this. And then we will hit install here. Now it may take a minute or two for it to actually extract this installer, and then once it does, we will be able to walk you through step-by-step step on what we need to do to actually get this driver installed. Then after that finishes, you will see this window. Here we will hit Next. Then you will see Select Installation Operation, and we'll hit Install. And then for the purposes of this video, we will hit Express, and then Next. And then here is another license agreement for the driver itself, and then we'll hit Accept to actually install it. And then this will take you through the driver installation, and you may see your screen flash black a couple of times during this installation. This is a normal process. then after it does that, you will be able to hit finish as it does appear that it has installed successfully. In order to actually start mining, you will need to download one more piece of software from AMD to take advantage of your GPU, which is called the AMD App SDK, which stands for Application Parallel Processing Software Development Kit. A link to download this software is below this video as well. Alright, and then after clicking on that link, we'll scroll down, and since I am once again using a 64-bit installation of Windows, I will download the 64-bit file, and then that'll take you to the license agreement for the app SDK, and then we'll hit accept here, and then that will download approximately a 118 megabyte file. Then after this file downloads, we will open it, and that'll take you through the installation of it. And then from here we'll hit next and agree to the software development kit license agreement. Next once again. And then we'll hit complete here to install all the different program features of this program. And then we'll hit install once again. take a few minutes for this to install on your machine and then here you will be able to click on finish. After doing these steps you will be able to proceed to step 2 where we will set up a pool user and worker then you will be able to start mining on your AMD based GPU. Step 2 pool setup. 
Alright, so after clicking the link below this video, it will take you to the triple mining registration screen in which we will make a test account. And then it will ask you to fill in your email and require a password. Then we'll hit register there, please. And then after doing that, it will say to get started with mining, you will need to create a worker. Go to the worker page in the menu. Alright, so in order to do that, we will have you click workers up here at the top. Then that will take you to this screen, and it says you need to add a worker. So each worker name uh, can be any number of devices that you do have connected to it. You could choose to connect each device to its own worker or you could connect them all to the same worker. Uh, depending on how it does keep track of it, you may want to separate them out or you could just lump them all into one. Uh, so this worker name is independent from what your username is, so this will be a test worker, and we'll give that a password as well, and then we'll hit add worker. Alright, so at this time it looks like the username is test account underscore test worker, and then from there you will be able to have the necessary information in order to log in to start using this pool as your pool provider which will also allow you to start configuring the software needed to start mining. Step 3 the software. BFG Miner is one of the easiest programs to set up to mine after getting your AMD based GPU driver and app SDK installed. A little about BFG Miner, it supports GPU, FPGA, and ASIC devices, as well as supports the Get Block template and Stratum mining protocols. It has low overhead since it is written directly in C and also supports backup pools. Depending on whether you are using a 32-bit installation or a 64-bit installation of Windows, you should download the appropriate file, though the steps needed to configure this miner are identical. Links to both the 32 and the 64-bit versions are below this video. After downloading that file, which is the official BFG Miner latest stable release, we will right-click on it, then go to Extract All which will bring you to this window and we will check the box to show extracted files when complete and hit extract. That will bring you to this window and here we will double click on the folder of BFG Miner and then you'll see the program here labeled BFG Miner. We will double click on this here and then it will ask us to run that program. After doing that you'll see a screen similar to this and here it's asking for us to input server details, so here is where we will type stratum dot triple mining dot com a colon to indicate port number three 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 four and then hit enter. Where it asks for username, we will type in the username that we just created underscore the worker name that we just created. And then please keep in mind that the username and the worker name are case sensitive. And then we'll hit enter. And then here we will type in the password for the worker that we just created which is also case sensitive. And then we will hit enter once more. After doing that, it'll find the pool at stratum.tripleminingcom with port 3334, and actually it will start mining with your AMD-based GPU. If at this time you are not able to see that, we will have you hit M for Manage Devices, then hold the Shift and hit the equal sign for the plus, and then where it says Enter Target, we will type All, and then hit Enter. And then after doing that, 
you should see your OpenCL miner of the AMD GPU there. And then we will hit enter to close the device manager once more. So at this time it is showing the approximate hashing power, the current temperature of this GPU, as well as how many shares have been accepted or rejected by the server. So after following these steps, that's all there is to mining on AMD-based GPUs. If you have other hardware you would like to mine with, check out the other videos on this channel as we are currently adding tutorials for more hardware and operating systems to come.